previously on Rock of Love. Wow, thing. I kicked ass. Watch your back with those girls. They're willing at this point to throw anybody under the bus. I can't stand Lacey. It's making me sick to my stomach. You talk down to people. Because I do a better job than you. <laughs> I'm going to get blown yeah, my neck. Right. I'll get it on my neck. It's going to look beautiful. I'm just falling and falling for this man. You're not going to leave me, are you? It was one of the toughest choices I made on the whole show, but I had to let Sam go. Cause I'm rocking my man on my neck. Since Sam went home last night, it's now two against two. Me and Heather against Jess and Brandy. Game on. Dude, I'm exhausted. Brandy is our new target. You know, she burps, she farts, she's young and immature. Yeah. There's four girls left in the house, and besides Brandy, I uh, can't stand the other bitches. This is gonna be interesting. Good morning. Well, it looks like you are the final four. Brett has planned something very, very special for you guys today. Why don't you take a look at this? All right. and we'll see you in just a bit. Thanks. Thank you. See ya. Good morning to my final four. Pack your bags, it's time to tour. I've got a gig in the city of sin. But when we get back, someone goes home again. We get our note this morning from Brett, and it says to pack our bags. He's got a gig in Sin City, Vegas, baby. Ooh, Vegas, baby. We pull up in the limo, and there is this gigantic, beautiful tour bus. You are not serious! I am so excited. I cannot wait to get on that bus with Brett and head to Vegas. We are going to Vegas, and we are going first class, Gibson VIP. We are taking a rock star tour bus to Vegas. Hell yeah. So here's Cheers. a big, kick-ass rock and roll yes. party. Thank Vegas you. <laughs> Taking the girls to Las Vegas, they're gonna get to see a big rockin' fan appreciation show. I've gotten to know these girls on a very personal and intimate level, but they have not got to see Brett Michaels, the rock star side yet. It is very important for me to gauge how these girls are gonna deal with the whole rock and roll experience. As we arrive at the Red Rock Casino and Resort, it's getting exciting. The girls are pumped up. Oh, such Thank a pleasure you. to have you here. We're Thank all looking know. forward to your show this evening. We are excited. What I was thinking we could do, if you don't mind, I was going to go over. I need a sound check right away. Right. And if they just have someone that could grab their massive amount of bags. <laughs> <laughs> Red has to rush off to his sound check, and that's so rock star of him. It's so sexy. We arrive at the hotel in Vegas, and we're escorted up to our room, and it's this absolutely beautiful suite. I'm gonna give you a little rundown of what's gonna happen tonight. Okay. You're gonna watch Brett perform. After that, you're all gonna go back to a suite for dinner and cocktails. After dinner and cocktails, three of you are gonna leave. The one who impresses them the most is gonna stay for a nightcap. I suggest you bring your A game, because this may very well be the last time you see Brett before elimination. I'll see you guys in bed. All right, thank all right? you. Thank you. I hate his speeches. They make me nervous. I know. I know. Someone's going to end up hanging out with Brett after dinner in his room. And I'm going to make damn sure it's me. So, I think we guess tonight. We're going to rock this out. Once I get a couple of vodka and energy drink in me. Ooh. I definitely think I can live this lifestyle being on tour because I love concerts. And I love to party. That's why I'm called Wild Thing. And Brandy's like, I'll talk. Yeah. I'm going to have to make a crack tonight. Yeah. Brandy is clearly into Brett for the rock star party atmosphere. I really think she's just a groupie, and I can't wait to prove it. You know what the key is? Gonna have the really, really trash. So she won't be able to walk. I really don't have a huge plan, but I know I don't want to get completely wasted and make an ass of myself. I can let the other girls do that, and I know that they will. Awesome. What is Let's it? Let's go! Come on, bitches! 
So tonight I plan on showing Brett that I'm the girl for him and not Jess and not Brandy. Um, Heather and I have a plan, but I think that um, Brandy and Jess are gonna be sitting out in the cold tonight. Show and we immediately go right to the front row. I cannot wait to see my sexy ass man hit the stage. One, two, three, four. Come on, I need your hands. My girlfriend told me she don't love me anymore. Brett hits the stage and I like flip the hell out. He's unbelievable. Brett's singing his songs and I'm totally mesmerized by him, his voice, and I can't stop staring at him. This is called Driven, and it goes like this. Pick it up. I like the way you move. Oh, it's just so sexy. I like the way she ran. Show? Amazing. So sexy. Front row with him right there singing to you. Me likey likey. I like it, I love it, I like the way she feels When you're riding beside me I like the way she grabs my feel Just kind of ride me, baby, tell the truth I like the way she moves Perform on stage, I feel even closer to him than I ever did before. You know, he's he's just so powerful. The songs are so powerful, and I get to see him as a musician. But I guess that's why she cried. There it is. Come on. I just like it now. As it's down. Oh, oh, oh. just like it. Not get enough of Brett and his guitar and singing his songs he's written. Oh, I cannot wait to get backstage. I just want to tell him how great the show was and give him lots of kisses. How about a toast, everybody here? You. For you. Are you are you 20 minutes, we're gonna have some dinner up in the room. How's that right. sound? Brett leaves us to go get changed for dinner and we continue drinking with the band. They just started grabbing bottles and chugging. <laughs> literally half of a bottle at a time. All I want you to do is get to four. No chase. No, yeah. Drink it! Yeah. These girls are going along with the band members trying to, you know, act cool or something. I'm not about to do that because I actually want to spend time with Brett. I don't want to get all face wasted. Now Three. exhale. She can't breathe if you plug her nose. Brett's bandmates can drink like fish. And for some reason, Lacey thinks that she can keep up with them. What is she thinking? Shots started going down the throat, and you know what? I just couldn't stop. So I'm chugging, and I'm chugging, and I'm chugging, and I am so Thank you guys very much. We had a wonderful time. We hope you guys had a wonderful time. That's a big pain. Drink up. What is this? Lacey is so drunk, she has no idea what she's doing, and she needs to stop being a dumbass. I will say that maybe this is a bad thing. This is so stupid. It's like getting annoyed at this point. Like, I don't know what the hell to do. I don't want to be associated with Lacey when she's acting like this. She's a sloppy drunk. Oh, this is all bad. Uh, coming up. Lacey is just trashed, and she's doing nothing but making a fool of herself. Oh. Show me what you got, mama. Get off the bar. Oh, what? 
There's no saving her now. And later. It was going to be impossible to have a nice dinner with two drunk Fruit Loops and a hungry stripper. Good night. I know that you're up. I'm not build sand. I'm talking to you. We're in Vegas. We just got done watching Brett's show. We're backstage, and Brandy and Lacey are drinking themselves into oblivion. Why did you give me that look? I didn't give it to you. It was just in general. Here, Heather. You gave me a dirty look. If you say that she gives you a dirty look, then you say that I give you a dirty look. Lacey starts attacking Brandy, which would be cool, but she's so drunk she has no idea what she's doing. I just know she'll it up for us. Do you get this woman a dirty look? Actually, I. <laughs> Uh, away from me, I just farted. <laughs> Lacey's got me pinned up against the wall with her nasty ass breath in my face. All I could do at this point was uh, laugh. Uh, uh, show me what you got. Uh, show me what you got. What is she thinking? We have to go have dinner with Brett here in a little while, and she is just getting sloppy, sloppy messiness. <sighs> have it, bitch. That's it? That's all she got? That's all you got? I didn't give Heather a dirty look, so come on, why you aren't Because I'm Heather's bitch, and if you got But I did not disrespect Heather. Oh, I think you did. Your, your um, strategy on Dallas. Get this bitch out. off of me. How pretty I'm gonna hurt brother. this bitch. No. It's not gonna work with me. No, okay. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Hang your so. Right, fall over, you stupid bitch. <laughs> I don't need to be defended by some sloppy drunk who can barely even stand up right now. So over it. Lacey, I'm gonna say something right. right now. Hey, let's go. The more you put me down, let's go. Heather does the same thing the I do. The more you out of here tomorrow. Lacey, Lacey. Yes. Cut the up and come on. All right, can I have your hand? So out of here. Come, come here. on. Come on, Heather. Come here. Good thing that Big John came into the room and told us all to shut the and it quieted things down and that he was taking us to Brett's room for dinner. Lacey, Thank you gotta you. pull that I, together. I really, really, really Lacey cannot even stand up, let alone walk forward. And Big John's gotta carry her ass out. I'm just like, oh, I'm over it. Pull it together. Walk, bitch. She's like, I'm she couldn't see no That's the problem. Just Sorry, you're on the bus earlier. Get over it. What did you say? Tell me I think I'm lying. No, tell me what Lacey's my friend, but she is a little sneaky ass, and she might be trying to set me up right now. I need to watch myself. What do you want, Lovey? Water. You know what? <laughs> Don't give the fake bitches nothing. Hey. Oh. Don't give the fake. You know what, Lacey? Let me nothing. ask you something. Why do you I think we're fake? You guys just want a party. You don't want to be. A Yep. We walk into Brett's room and we're waiting for Brett and Lacey's climbing across the bar like a cracked out cat. I mean, I don't know what the f she's thinking. Why? You guys try to get off the bar. Why? Guys. Get off the bar. No, now. sweetheart. You know get what? Get off the f oh. bar. Or what? You have no respect or class for or Brett's what? hotel room. Get off or the bar. Or what? Get off the bar or what? If this is how she wants to act, there's no saving her now. It's her life. I'm not going to tell her to stop. I do want to know you. All right, yeah. You Heather, you're just like, not all right, Heather, you're just a bitch. Thank you. So I'm getting cleaned up after the show, and I just hear all hell break loose. OK, where shall we go? Come right. on, sit down. Lacey and Brandy are so smashed out of their minds. Thank you. And I'm just basically like, Get a grip. Let's eat. Jeez. But you know what? Lacey, Heather, stop. Heather knows what's what. Know. Listen, Heather here's the deal. Knows. Heather knows what's what. What's the deal? Stop Brandy, disrespect. Here's the deal. Right now. Everyone, stop. everybody, Please, shut asking. up. Stop. Lacey, shut up. As we sit down to dinner, I'm getting pissed off. I leave the girls alone with my band for 15 minutes, and they are <laughs> faced. What the hell happened? I don't want to be rude. I had a great show. We had a great time. Let's have a nice meal. How's that okay. sound? Is that, is that asking too much? Oh, or, okay. How about a hand for Ricardo and Javier? They don't need to hear this crap. You know what I'm saying? Good. All right, Lacey, what do you want? You want some bread? Oh, it's all bad. Lacey, she literally collapses at the dinner table. 
Now, I'm concerned for real. I mean, this just isn't a minor collapse. This is a meltdown collapse. You're not tripping. You're good. You're here. We'll take good care of you. I don't like Lacey, but I can't sit there and let her go through something like that on her own. You know, she's obviously up. Hey, Big John, the beautiful Lacey here has maybe had a drink or two too many. And I'm thinking, let's okay. let's get her to her room, and we're going to take good care of you. Lacey made a horrible impression on Brett. You know what? It's her fault. One down, two to go. Come here. I do. You got her? I could safely say that Lacey clearly can't handle this lifestyle and everything that goes with it, and it was very disappointing. Also, I want a shrimp. Uh, I have 65 oysters. You can have all the shrimp. I'd be hunting clench at the table. You're gonna, be, you're gonna be on top of this. <laughs> do you want oysters? Or do you... No, I don't. Oysters. Why? They're so yum, Ola. No. Please no. eat one. Do you use no. Just try it. No. Why? I don't like them. Is because I get sick. Oh, you're going down now, bitch. When in Vegas? Brady, 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 Brady. Brady. She's gonna throw up? Come. Brady. Hold on. We got it. Coming up. That Michaels is not the one for me. I know he is it. I'm starting to have a lot of doubt. Did you yeah. talk to him about what you were gonna talk to him about? Oh, dude, we're gonna call that bitch out. They're gonna be throwing me under the bus. Also, I want a shrimp. <laughs> After the Lacey incident, finally we all get to sit down for dinner. Brandy. When in Vegas? Brandy, 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 Brandy. Brandy. She gonna throw up? Come. Oh, she's so bad at Come on. Brandy. Hold on. Come on. We got her. Come on, come on, come on. But then I look over at the other end of the table, and Brandy has her napkin to her face, and I just see projectile vomit come out of both ends. <laughs> you, gotta, you, gotta, you, gotta. you got her? Yeah, I got her. OK. Oh, my hell. Rookies, I'm so bored. Oh, Brett should have known that it was going to be impossible to have a nice dinner with two drunk Fruit Loops and a hungry stripper. Listen, it ain't been the first time I've been there, right? It won't be the last, OK? What else can I eat? Brett, mm -hmm. I really love you. Not even love, because I can't say love yet. But we could say it. I honestly, I'm willing to open up my heart for you, no matter what. She was just wasted, and it really bummed me out. But as I was pulling Brandy's head out of the toilet from her puking, she turned to me and said something was probably one of the most touching moments of my life. She looked at me, and she said, Brett, I love you, and for you, I will let my guard down. I love you, and I want you. you I've never me. felt this. I need this. Last time I checked, you shouldn't be vomiting right before you tell somebody you love them, but maybe for Brandy, it was the right moment. Take this with you. Do not spill it. Yeah, drink some water, water please. Hold it. No, I already chugged. Here, hold my arm. Come on. Basically, at this point, I feel like dinner is like the Titanic. It is unsalvageable. Well, here's what I'm thinking. I got a thought. What I would love to do, and this would be awesome, is I, I would love to spend some time with Jess. Jess was clearly helping out all these girls. And these girls were her competition. And it really stepped her up in my book. It really stepped her up a lot in my book. I'm a big John walk you down the room. I'm going to spend a little time talking to Jess. Absolutely. Brett decides to ask Jess to stay with him tonight. I mean, what is that? Like, she said, like, 1.5 words at the table. Thank you, sweetie. You can put these two in this. This is Jess's and Brett's. I want to split that in half. All of this, yeah. I'm a little bitter because he's got, you know, Stiffy McStiff in the room with him. And here I am marching off four pounds heavier. But whatever, I'm going to bed. And I'm taking my food with me, damn it. I mean, I can party with the best of them, but at the end of the day, you want somebody that's solid. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. After everyone left, Jess and me um, got along quite well. We got to learn um, each other both inside and out. It was a good night. Oh, can someone remove those plates out of this room? Shrimp is making me nauseous. 
After getting a taste of Brett's rock star lifestyle last night, I definitely uh, don't know if I can hang. I don't need that. You know what, he's not the one for me. I can tell in my heart, he's not it. Like he, I, yeah, I think he's fabulous, I think he's great. Brett, mm -hmm. I really love you. Brett Michaels is not the one for me. I know what my heart wants and I know that he's not it. I'm starting to have a lot of doubt and it hurts because I do care for him, but I just don't know how much more I can take of all of everything. But see, for me, I know he is it. Mm -hmm. And I know. I thought he was it, but I gave it to Sean and Mother. I've known that for a while now, and he's the one I want to be with. Brandy basically tells us that she's not into Brett. And I'm thinking to myself, this is going to work out perfectly, because it's still my mission to make sure Brandy goes home. I had an awesome, awesome time last night. I hope you did, too. I did. Thank you. You're welcome. After spending the night with Brett, um, I definitely feel a lot closer to him, you know, physically, emotionally, sexually. It's all good. Brett and I had a hot night in the city of sin, and that's all I have to say about it. I sent a car. I'll get you back to Los Angeles. You hang at the house by the pool. Cool. And, um, and I will see you at Eliminations, OK? All right, baby. Thank you for a great time. I sent Jess back to Los Angeles so that I can spend the day with the other three girls and try to get to know a little bit about them. OK, bye. All right, see you later. Okay. First, I was kind of confused by it, like, why don't I get to spend more time with him? But then I realized it's actually a good thing. He needs to spend time with the other girls. Him and I have obviously already made that connection, so I, I kind of put myself at ease. Right. Oh, I see a note. Yeah. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Thank, Thank you. you. More than my raging ladies, you really tore it up last night. So today, I set up something awesome to get you feeling right. This morning, we get a note from Brett telling us, after all the partying last night, he's got a little something that's going to make us feel better. How are I'm you? Surprised. Are you alive? Oh, you know, I wasn't two hours ago. Oh. Yeah, you, you feel were. a little bit better? Poor Brandy is the one that's really hurting. Brandy, come on, lay down, Poor baby. Brandy. When the girls came down to the pool, I got to admit, they looked a little tore up from the floor up. And Brandy looked like she had been beat up. Uh -huh. I'm thinking now a little R&R uh, &R by the pool. Yeah, and this is some beautiful Thank you know, red so rocks. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah, so what I'm going to do is I also got a full massage spa day for me. Yeah. I decided it was time for Heather. I needed to bring her in for what I felt was going to be one of the absolute best massages ever, a hot stone rub down. I just have a lot of emotion and a lot of feelings for you, you know? It's like merge our lives together and just... We got good times ahead and, yeah. a lot of, and a lot of good food we haven't eaten yet. After me up and saying what I said to Heather and Lacey this morning about Brent not being the one for me, I know that their first instincts are going to be throwing me under the bus. So I'm a little nervous. Let's go to Tahiti and run around naked. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe I should tell Brett the whole truth about Brandy, but I refuse to let anything spoil my fun right now. Let Lacey deal with it. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh just, wow. Just what you need. Brett takes me off to a private cabana for some massages, which is great because now I get some one-on-one. -on -one. So right right up here? Up yep. Yeah. Face up, right? Face up. Hopefully, if, she's, if not, Brandy's not like turning around and like lying oh, to him dude, now. Oh, dude, we're gonna call that bitch out. She and just you, flat up she, spilled her guts. Like yeah. she's. I think she's sorry that she did that. I don't think it was that bad, was I? No, I was just puking. <laughs> no, no, meaning no, no. That's why I was saying let all that go. That doesn't. That's either here or there. But just, I just want to see what you, how you feel, what, what's going on in well, your head. My heart is definitely up because um, I am scared to get hurt. Right. There's no doubt about that. I'm trying to like let it down, but it's tough to do that. And I also was like wondering if I was even good enough for you. Like I keep questioning myself on that. Right. And why would you question? What do you mean good enough? You're a beautiful girl. You're fun to go to hockey games with. You know. This morning, what I said about Brett not being the one was not what I meant. That's just me, honestly, putting my guard up because I'm scared of being hurt. And I didn't mean to say it that way, and now I know I need to defend myself to Brett. I'm not giving up, I'm not, I don't wanna give up on you. All right, well, I don't want you to give up either, and then I just have to make a really tough decision for mm -hmm. us. She felt that she wanted to be much more than friends and uh, be intimate and be lovers, and there was a chance we would make it as a boyfriend and girlfriend. All right, we're gonna walk out. So after talking with Brett and expressing how I feel to him, I really 
felt a connection. I'm, I'm willing to stay after today. This is good times right here. You guys here. have a talk? Did you talk to him about yeah. what you were going to talk to him about? Huh? Did you talk to him about what you told us you were going to talk to him about? Mm -hmm. You did? Yeah. That's cool. We had a good talk, good. actually. When Brandy comes out of the cabana, it's pretty apparent that she hasn't been up front with Brett about her feelings, and I'm pissed off about that. I really don't feel like Jess and Brandy have feelings for you. And actually, Brandy even went so far as to tell us that this morning. She's like, I should go because I just know <clears throat> Brett's not the one for me, and I only like him as a friend. I don't like him as anything more that's than that. That's weird what she said in here. and That's her whole, whole opposite of what she just said. I knew she was going to do that. Oh, I'm so aggravated. He told me that Brandy basically had told him that she wants to stay here with him and that she wants to develop stronger feelings for him. She flat out lied to his face. Then we get in here and she says, I don't want to be friends. I want you to know that I want to be with you. Wow. And I don't want to leave. So I, what you say is complete opposite of what well, she just she's said either, to me. She's either completely lying to Heather and I or she's and completely remember, lying to you. Be careful she isn't playing a game with you too. Well, that's true. So I'm thinking, Maybe Lacey could be lying to me just to kind of X Brandy out, because Lacey is uh, crazy and a little malicious, but I also know that Lacey really likes me and does want to get rid of Brandy. You know what, it's, Lacey, here's the thing. You're a little malicious, and I need to watch you more and figure right. you out. I really feel, for Brett's sake, that I need to tell him these things. At the same time, I'm a little worried, though, because I don't want him to think that I'm crazy. I just need to think about it more and figure it out. There's something in the pit of my stomach that told me something was wrong with Brandy. So at this point, I'm on the fence as to who to believe. Coming up, there's a part of me right on the fence about falling for you. Brett thinks me being a dancer affects my ability to fall in love. I mean, I'm a loyal, loyal person. That's it. And later, we have to decide why you're here. I did say I didn't want to waste anyone else's time. Do you want to stay in this house? Honestly, I just want to go home. Say, say that one more time. Did you guys have a good day today? <laughs> it was great. Awesome day. It was a yes, nice. thank you. I was all this good. Perfect. Thank awesome you so time. much, Brad. This After our very relaxing massage and considering what Lacey told me, I knew I had a really, really tough decision to make. Well, here's the deal. I um, I don't know who's being real, who's being malicious, and all of those things keep setting in the back of my head. So, two of you will be staying here, and one of you are going back to Los Angeles. And I made a reservation tonight for dinner. So. Lacey and Heather, you're gonna stay. Don't worry about your stuff, just go ahead and split. And I'll send all the stuff up to the room. Cool. Thank you. I'm really happy Brandy's being sent home to LA, but I'm starting to feel a little bit worried about what might be going on in Brett's mind and about me. Mm -hmm. Bye, baby. I don't want Brett to think that I'm crazy, because I'm not. I'll see you in a little okay. bit. Bye. Brett's sending me back home to LA because uh, I up this morning by telling Lacey and Heather that Brett's not the one for me. And obviously, Lacey told Brett about it today. But I do care for him, and I hope that Brett sees it soon. Hey, come on in. What's up, Lace? How are you? What's happening? Hey, uh, I'm here to take you guys to go meet up with Brett. I know we're friends and all, but game on, because I want this man. I want this man, bitch. So, the man's gonna be mine. I'm feeling really happy I'm gonna get another opportunity to have dinner with Brett tonight. And I'm starting to kick into damage control mode. I, I want to convince this man that I'm not crazy. Brett! Look at you all dressed up sexy. Yeah. Hi, baby. Here you go. Thank you. A beautiful rose for you. It's down to two of us. I'm not worried about it. Brett and I have connected from day one. I'm golden. I got this. You're <laughs> sitting down. Tonight, we are going to have the most awesome and romantic dinner ever. And I need to get to know these ladies. I mean, know these ladies. I'm having such a great time, you guys. I am, too. You, I, you guys have some great questions for you guys. I've been thinking about all night. OK, good. Why do you feel that we would work? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, mean, I just feel like we both have the same type of soul. We both are really big hearted, very caring, and thoughtful. But right. I just think we have, like, you and I have, like, the whole package, which is really hard to find. Here's the thing. There is something right on the, the fence about completely falling for you and completely being I'm, I'm like this. Don't be scared. I do realize that Brett and Heather have a really strong connection with each other, but it sounds to me like Brett is beginning to have more and more doubts and trust issues with Heather. And quite frankly, I am just so happy right now. I don't also want to start to fall like I did when I wrote my Every Rose song. The girl was a dancer. I fell in love, and she broke my heart. Here's the thing with Heather, and I call it pole emotions, right? 
And by pole emotions, I mean, can I get her off that pole and get her onto my pole? It's a big, big thought going through my mind right now. You know that what so I call that? I'm a loyal, loyal person. I'm telling right. you right now, when, I have, when I'm in love, love with somebody, that's it. Okay. Brett thinks that me being a dancer affects my ability to fall in love, and that's so not the case. I mean, I'm right. a loyal, lo and I've always been like that. I know that he got his heart broke from a dancer, but that was like 20 years ago. It's like, get over it. And there was times, like years ago, when I first started dancing, that I had that guard up, but I'm, right. I'm past that. I'm now. past it. Got Can it. I and say something before we get back in our? Yes, go ahead. Okay. I need to get back to Heather here. Okay. I um, there's a good conversation between Brett and I, and immediately Lacey starts running off at the chops. Are you kidding me? That's so rude. I mean, come on. I know that you're gonna get to have like a one-on-one -on -one with one of us when this is over. Yes. And you know, Heather's gotten to go on a couple of dates with you and um, all my dates were shared, you know, and the only one-on-one -on -one time I've had is in the room. So Got it. Um, I really would love to spend more time with you, just me and you. And so uh, just... But see, as would I, and in my defense, I just feel like we have the best, the biggest bond here. Like, but you've yeah. spent more time with them than I have, which is, you know. I know, know but so... I just feel like we have right. the best bond here, you know. Gotcha. All right. Duly noted. Okay. And duly noted. Thank you. Brett's spent a lot of time with Heather. I really feel like I need to catch up at this point. I'm going to do everything in my power to make Brett see what a great person I am. Do you see yourself being in a relationship with me? Do you here's, see that working? Here's what I say. What scares me is seesawness in your man manipulative man manipula right. You know what I mean? Sometimes I don't know if you have a plan. We talked about this today. I'm very right. open about it. I don't do good dating, manic, depressive, mm -hmm. right. inner, you know, people that are having an inner battle. Like, in other words, I can give everything, but suddenly I start to become their depression. Well, let me let me tell you something. I have always been really happy. Like, I, right. I've never been a depressed person. Your energy and, is good. Yeah. And you have a lot of it. And this is how I always am. Absolutely. And my mom and I, were really, really <clears throat> close. And I talked to her on the phone every single day. And when, <laughs> when, she, when she when she died, and it's she, and she, you with well, and she died suddenly too. Oh my hell, Lacey's so good at playing Brett. She manipulates and twists everything around for her benefit. No. And all these things matter. This is what makes me connect to you. This is what, this is the stuff I need to know so we don't fool ourselves. I'm starting to understand a little bit about Lacey. I'm starting to understand her very strong, very strong personality. What I would love to do is to spend time with Lacey to just know more about right. you. Right, and I feel the same, I want to know more. You know what I mean? More. That's all. All right? Bye. Bye. That's it. My alliance with Lacey is over. And if she gets in my way at all, gonna hit the fan and she will be sorry. You ready? I'm ready. Awesome. I, I just need this time with you. Do you know yeah. what I mean? To get close and... Aw. Oh, good. I'm glad we're doing this. I really, I was really wanting this all along. I'm finally gonna get to have this alone time with him. And Heather is left to eat dessert alone. And, you know, that's exactly what I wanted. Oh, this is incredible. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, this is yeah. awesome. Yeah. Last night was just such a, I had such an amazing time. Mm -hmm. And I just, you know what was funny? Once I saw that you and Brandy, who were in this vicinity, <laughs> were not having a great go of it. Well, you know what it is about Brandy? Go ahead. I never, like, basically, I'm just her. Gotcha. But honestly, in real life, I do not do this to people. I swear to God. This is I just. I don't, I don't necessarily, if I thought you were just this malicious, malicious bitch, mm -hmm. you'd have been gone long ago. Right. I think that Brett clearly sees the real me, and you know, it just makes me feel that much closer to him. I'm so glad he sees me for who I really am. Oh, this is incredible. Isn't this beautiful? Wow. I'm thinking there's something about you I like, and I just need to find out more about what it is. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you have a safe trip back. I will indeed. See you back. Mm. Mm. I woke up this morning with Brett, and that was so incredible. It was such a beautiful night. Words can't even describe. I'm just so happy right now. It was an absolutely great trip to Vegas, but I gotta be honest with you, going back to the house, there was an elimination, and in the end, I'm basing my decision on my gut feeling to everything I've taken in over the last couple days.
who's being truthful, who's lying, who's letting her guard down, and who's ready to find true love. Coming up, you're a beautiful girl, but beauty's only skin deep if you with people's emotions. You could have told me this a long time ago. Have a good life. Even though I was the first to go home from Vegas, I still got to spend quality time with Brett. So even though eliminations are tonight, I'm, I'm still feeling pretty good. I definitely have a lot of feelings for Brett, and I care about him dearly. Um, I'm afraid of getting the heart broken again, but if Brett were to ask me to still stay, I definitely will. Brandy needs to go home tonight. She's wasting everybody's time by being here. She, she doesn't want to be here, and we don't want her here. I'm a little nervous right now. It's elimination night, and Brett has given me the chef two nights in a row. Like, this is getting ridiculous. Just I'm feeling some nerves right now. Hello, beautiful ladies. Hi. I, I just want to say this to everyone. I had a great time. It was absolutely awesome. While I was in Vegas, I had uh, a chance to get to hang with each of you, and it gave me a chance to really think about stuff. We've all had a hell of a couple days, and uh, so let me just get to it, okay? John, you wanna hit me with a pass? All right. This is someone, while in Vegas, I really got to feel extremely close to. It proved to me that they were feeling a little closer to me since a lot of our conversation had been at a distance. So Jess, would you please come down here? After Vegas, and all the craziness, yes. and the show, mm -hmm. will you stay here in this house and continue to rock my world? Love to. Jess gets her pass first. She doesn't care about Brett. She never has, and she probably never will. Big John. Once again, I know a lot of people have their doubts about this girl, the way they feel about her, the way she sometimes acts or opinions she may have. However, I really like her a lot, and that's what matters. This is up to me. Lacey, would you come down here, please? Would you stay here and rock my world? You got it, babe. Awesome. So, Brett decides to keep Lacey in the house. She gets her pass. I just wanted to jump over there and rip it off her damn neck. She's crazy, she's possessed by the devil. Why the hell is he keeping her in the house? Thank you, and you're beautiful. Oh, thank you. Now we're down to two girls, Heather, Brandy. This trip to Vegas taught me something about both of you. Heather, I will say this. I think you are absolutely beautiful, but I also think it's time that we have to decide why you're here, what you're here for. Is it gonna work? Is it not gonna work? Brandy, when we were in the hotel room that night after my show and I was holding your head up from the toilet, you looked me right in the eyes and you said, I love you and I want to make this work. And it really, it really made me believe in what you were saying. Oh my God. Brandy completely lied and flipped the switch saying that she wanted to be with Brett and get closer, which is the complete opposite of what she told me. There's no way in hell she's getting away with this. I know it's weird for all of us. <clears throat> she woke up and she said, I'm done. This is not for me and we're, I just feel like a friend to him. I'm tired of wasting you guys' this time. I see it with you guys, talking about you and I, and um, I just wanna go home. What I wanted to say is that I wanna be honest with you, and yes, I did say I didn't wanna waste anyone else's time. I see more with Jess than I see you with Heather, but if, you That's know, not what you told me, but. Can I finish? I also see you with Heather, but not with me. Do you wanna stay in this house with me? Because I'm, I'm really getting down to the point where I need to know this. Honestly? Yeah. I don't think I can bring my guard down. Say, say that one more time. Anyway. Honestly, my guard, keeping it up, you know, that, I don't think I can bring it down. Here, here's what really, really pisses me off. You could have told me this a long time ago, because even the other day at the pool. About this last but night. let me say, you told me setting after the massage at the pool, I looked you in the eyes and I said, how do you feel? You said, I want to take this to more than just a friendship level. And this was the morning after, and not even probably a half hour after you told them that you wanted to leave and you didn't have that feeling. And and I felt very close to you and I bought into you the night before. And that's I apologize. what killed me. I, I don't care where you go in your life, you're a beautiful girl, but beauty's only skin deep if with people's emotions. I'm not the one that jaded you.
I feel she'd been lying to me and she'd been playing me. I, I couldn't deal with it no more. My suggestion is, is this. You, you've made that decision for yourself and your tour ends here, and you go ahead and go. Sorry. Can it's I okay. at least say goodbye? I'm sorry. Have a good life. I didn't mean for him to think that I didn't care. I mean, it sucks. It hurts. It kills me that he misunderstood me because I never meant it to come out like that. I do wish I could have opened my heart to him. And obviously, I f***ed that up. Bye. Uh, we are down to three of us now. Obviously, I care about all three of you a lot. Anybody in this house wants to go, there's a door. I'm saying that as nicely as I can say it right now before I lose my cool. And you see another side of me, which will go to another level, and I mean that. Anyone else feels it, just grab me tomorrow and tell it, and I will be happy to help you pack your bags and go. As long as you're here, babe, I'm definitely staying. That's right. Jess? I'm here. Can't okay. get rid of me. Are you here here? I'm here here. Or kind of here? No, I'm 100% here. I just want to know this, all right? Having said that, Heather, come on down and get that pass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll never lie to you, so. I was in the bottom two tonight, and that was a horrible feeling, and that's never gonna happen again. I will do whatever it takes to win my man. Bottom line, I will sacrifice anything to be with him. That's how much I'm, I'm into him. Do you wanna stay here and rock my world? Of course. Awesome. And you look beautiful tonight. Come on down. Come hither. Come hither, lasses. Now I'm getting excited. I wanna win this competition and just spend as much time with Brett as I can. I had such an amazing time with Brett at Las Vegas. We're closer than we've ever been before, so I'm gonna do whatever it takes to win Brett's heart. Anyway, everybody, to all of us having a great Cheers. time. Cheers! Cheers! Salud! Next time on Rock of the Love. If there's one thing that makes a rock star nervous, it's a girl's parents. I need to be concerned that my daughter's sex life. Which daughter's yours? Lacey's parents have no idea who she is. She's a presidential scholar. All right, no one talking about me. I cannot wait to call Lacey in front of her dad. It was so tense, you could cut it with a knife. Are you drinking, Lacey? Did you tell your dad how you knocked over 40 bottles? But she doesn't seem to respect her parents. So I'm standing up here listening to what you're saying. And you're a liar. Sweetie, Don't call Christ. me sweetie. Man, I smell <laughs> <laughs> You're not the same person when they're here. My parents have known me for 30 years. They do years. not know who you are. Your daughter is a slut. Hey, hey, sorry to bother you, big boy. I need to speak to you about who my daughter's been Oh, dear. Where the is Big John right now when I need him?